It really is an honor for the Sun Dome to be the host of the largest piece of public art. Imagine it's been in place for over 30 years. Millions of guests who have come to State Fair Park for events have actually been able to experience the circle of life. One red, two blue, two yellow, two white. His name was in the hopper for public art. And so the state contacted him and said, here's the job we want you to do, the Yakima Sun Dome. So Dick and I came down to take a look. And I looked up and saw an impossible task. And he looked up and saw and a marvelous opportunity. <laughs> When we were driving to work at uh, 5.30 in the morning from the freeway, uh, we were just driving by and just right thing, the whole thing flashed just for about a half a second. And we came around the north side and it really lights up. This particular piece, we've known that it was damaged for a long time, and we did a pretty um, comprehensive assessment in 2014 um, to try to come up with a way to repair it. Deterioration had caused it to lose a lot of its vibrance and was no longer a true reflection of Dick Elliott's vision. So for three days, in the heat of August, Mike and I tapped each and every reflector we could reach. When we came down from the lifts, and did the math, we found that more than half of the reflectors were gone. The company that makes them was only making, um, I think the red and amber colored reflectors. They had stopped making the clears, the blues, and the greens. However, after further discussions of the intended use of the reflectors, they agreed to do a custom run for the green, blue, and clear reflectors, just for us. Pandemic shutdowns, plastic shortages, shipping problems. It took like about nine months to get the reflectors from um, ordering them, to having them manufactured, to having them shipped. So it was kind of amazing once the construction company, we delivered them to Yakima and they started work the following week. And they had it done in a couple of months time. Two blue. Yep. Two clear. Yep. Two green. Yep. Two more. Yep. I think it's marvelous they're restoring. Uh, Dick would be delighted. Uh, it just speaks to how meaningful his art has become to the community. Now fully restored, the Circle of Light will do what was it intended to do 30 years ago, continue to delight guests and showcase the importance of public art for many years to come. I also would be remiss if I didn't um, give a shout out to our friends from Washington State Art Commission. So it's really a labor of love and this wouldn't have happened, you know, without their uh, dedication and commitment to the restoration of this project. And the mission of uh, me and my, all my staff, my amazing team at the Arts Commission is to be a catalyst for the arts, to help artists and arts organizations and creatives uh, across the state to do their best work to make the communities as livable and viable as possible and you know where we're standing and uh, the artwork surrounding this dome is part of that. So it's a no small thing that we are celebrating here today. 
Uh, it's a signature piece of art. It is, in fact, the biggest piece of art in the state art collection by actually a long way. <laughs> And it's a flagship piece as a result, and I know it is beloved by people here in Yakima, and I think this process will only make it more so as we highlight you know, the artwork itself, but its history and its story going forward. But I hope that it just continues to be a thing that is special and unique and identifiable for this particular area, um, the way that artwork has, has a way of grounding people in the space that they're from and reminding them that their place is unique and special. And a young man came up the deck and he said, I want to thank you so much. I grew up in Yakima and you gave my hometown something to be really proud of. Vanish, anxious mind. Wash the soul with winter light, reflected, circling the warm body. Xanadu blooms, gold reflectors, bald eagle perch. Yakima, Yakima, hail, hail to the Yakima. Zoom into the breath language of the reflected tongue. Thank you very much.